welcome to another weekly video. Last week we st spoke about the store count and today's video is all about marking. Marking is what a person does on the player with the disc. For today's video we are only focusing on marking the player with the disc and not the defensive marking that you do with the player's downfield. Marking a person you need to be within three meters of the person with the disc. You also need to make sure that you are a uh, disc space away from them so you're not too close and you must not straddle them. He is the offense and he is the disc and I'm marking him. I need to make sure that I'm a disc length away so not too close and within three meters. I'm also not allowed to straddle him so wrap around him. So only one person can be on the mark so if there's two people within the marking area then that's what's called a double team and that's not allowed. This is an example of double teaming. Stalling one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> when marking a person, we usually put a force on. A force is where you stand on a particular side of the person and want the thrower to throw on the other side. There are three different types of forces. There's a straight up force, there's a forehand or flick force, and then there's a backhand force. A straight up force is where you stand directly in front of the person and stop the hucks and long throws from going up. Okay. So this is an example of a straight up force. I'm trying to stop the hucks and the long throws from coming up. Notice how I'm directly in front of him while he's trying to throw. A flick or a forehand force is where you're trying to get your opponent to throw a flick or a forehand so you stand on their left side. So if I want Lockie to throw a flick and throw that side of the field, I'm going to stand on his left side here. The disc isn't going to go this way and I'm going to force him to throw that way. So if we show what it looks like, stalling one, he can't throw this way, he can't throw over here, so he has to throw over there. Our backhand force is the exact same as a flick but on the other side. So now I want to force him towards the backhand side. So I'm going to stand on the other side of him and see how I'm standing this side. So I want him to throw that way. So we'll show you what it looks like. The skin's filling one. So I can't let him throw this side. I'm stopping that throw here. So he only has one option, which is over there. So a team can also say force home or force away. So all that means is the side that you put your bags on and your stuff on, on the sideline, that's your home and the other side is your away. So these things here, these are our bags on the sideline. So if my teammates say they want me to force home, I'm going to want Lockie to go that way. So I'm going to, that will be forcing him backhand. At the same time, Lockie was over here and he was throwing and my opponents told me to force home again. I would actually be forcing him to throw a flick, but I'd still be forcing him to throw in that direction. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more weekly videos. I hope you guys learned something and we'll see you next week.